Today is my best friend's wedding. It was my first time seeing my husband so excited to go to wedding, so something felt suspicious. Worried, I followed him secretly and saw him entering a wedding venue. Oh, it's just a wedding after all. Just as I was feeling relieved, I saw that the groom was my husband. I was more than surprised. The person standing next to my husband in a beautiful wedding dress was. My name is Julia. I'm 27 years old. My husband, Celso, is a childhood friend of mine. He lived in the same neighborhood as me since we were little kids, and we played together often. Celso confessed his feelings to me when we were in high school, and we began dating. We had one other childhood friend. Her name was Kaylee. She also lived in our neighborhood, and the three of us were always together. Even throughout elementary and middle school, we continued to all be really close. Kaylee and I would go to each other for advice when we liked someone, and then console each other when we were rejected. The two of us were really like best friends. But my relationship with Kaylee changed after I began dating Celso. The three of us all ended up going to different high schools, but we would still hang out together on the weekend and enjoyed talking to each other. However, once Celso and I began dating, Kaylee began spending less and less time with us. Celso said, I don't want this to spoil our friendship, so let's keep it a secret from Kaylee that we're dating. And a secret from our parents, too. We hid our relationship from her, but since we've been friends for so long, she probably realized something was different. Kaylee ended up moving to another city because of her parents' job, so we became even more distant. Growing distant from my best friend made me sad. But friendships between boys and girls can already be complicated, so if Celso and I brought our relationship into this, things could get messy. Celso and I continued to date, and eventually we decided to get married. I don't really want a big ceremony. What do you think? Celso said. I wasn't into flashy events either, and didn't really feel like having a wedding ceremony was necessary. So, we didn't have a ceremony and just took wedding photos instead. Our newlywed life went well. Since we had known each other for so long, we had similar tastes in food and hobbies, and understood each other no matter what we said. We could act how we wanted around each other without worrying, and we never really fought. Celso had always been really kind. Whenever we had an anniversary or some sort of special day, he would buy me cakes he knew I'd like. One day, he bought us four little cakes. Why four? I asked. I wanted to try two kinds and couldn't pick one over the other. So, I bought us one of each flavor so that we could enjoy them both. He answered laughing. I've always loved these innocent little things Celso did, so I laughed as well. I thought to myself that I hope these happy days continue forever. But one day, Celso suddenly said, I want to go surfing. We had been together so long, but he had never told me he used to surf. I was surprised. When I asked him why he had stopped, he said that he never really had the opportunity to go out and do it. But his colleague at work recently got into surfing and invited him to join. That sounds great. I'd love to try too. I answered. Celso suddenly made a pained face. No, no, I'll go on my own, he said. Being rejected after wanting to enjoy a new hobby with him, I wondered what was wrong. If my colleague sees how much I'm in love with you, I'll feel embarrassed. And anyway, I don't want you to see how uncool and bad I am at surfing. You understand, right? He said with a laugh. Hearing that, I naively felt happy. Oh, you. You have such a way with words. I've seen all your uncool sides already. I also laughed. 
thinking about it, Kaylee used to always love the ocean. Her name suddenly came to my mind, and I felt nostalgic. Celso began surfing. He would get sunburnt, and his muscles would be super sore after. Seeing how Celso found a new hobby made me happy. Going surfing once or twice a week is a great pastime. Celso seemed to be stressed out from work these days, so this is probably exactly what he needed. I thought that to myself. But Celso began going out a lot. He would go surfing every Saturday and Sunday, and during the week he would often go drinking with his surfing friends. He would even go out surfing on days it was raining. When I asked him if he can really surf in the rain, on days like this, there are the best waves, he said and left the house. I want to try too. I would try to join in, but he'd say, I'm not improving, so give me a break. Why don't you try finding a hobby to do without me? I began to feel that something was suspicious. One day, Celso said, Today is my best friend's wedding. He left the house really excited. I thought it was suspicious. Celso wasn't into wedding ceremonies. Him and I didn't even have one. You have to buy a big gift, and it's so formal and stuffy. Weddings really tire me out. Is what he'd always say, and yet this time he was so happy. There had to be some reason why. And the surfing recently. Maybe he's lying about going to a wedding and will be going to meet up with a lover instead. Thinking that, I secretly followed Celso. Celso entered a wedding hall. Oh, it really is a wedding. I feel bad for doubting him. Or maybe he was that excited because his lover is among the attendees. Thinking that, after letting some time pass, I peeked into the wedding venue. The venue was near the sea, so it was very open and easy to look into. What I saw wasn't just a simple affair. Celso was the groom. He appeared in a decorated wedding car with a bride and smiled and shook hands with everyone there. That wasn't the only thing that shocked me. The woman standing next to Celso, in a beautiful wedding dress, was Kaylee. I felt confused. What's going on? I'm married to Celso, but the person having a wedding ceremony with Celso is Kaylee. I was so shocked and confused. I had to go sit in a nearby cafe to rest and get my head straight. So that's how it is. I finally began grasping the situation. There's no way I can forgive them. I swore to myself that I'd get revenge. Two weeks later, I was in a cafe. It was a Sunday, but strangely enough, Celso stayed at home, instead of going surfing. Sorry for going out so much. I just got so into my hobby. I wanted to spend some time with you today. Why don't we go out and do something together? Celso suggested. That day I had plans with a friend. So I told Celso, I have lunch plans with a friend today. How about we meet up after I finish? We haven't met up outside like that in so long. It'll be fun. Celso was not too happy about it, but he agreed. He arrived at the cafe we agreed to meet at. Sorry, I got here a bit early. Did your friend already leave? Celso asked. No, she went to the toilet. She should be back soon. But this is great. I wanted to introduce you to each other. Why don't you say hello? I motioned for Celso to sit. Oh, okay. It feels a bit embarrassing, but... He sat down, and after we waited for a bit, my friend arrived. When Celso saw who it was, he froze. It was Kaylee. Kaylee greeted Celso with a smile. Celso, how many years has it been since the three of us got together like this? It's so nostalgic. Her smile was cold. Kaylee, why are you here? 
That was the only thing Celso could bring himself to say. I thought it'd be nice to meet after so long. We grew apart in high school, right? Ah, uh, yeah, Celso. Did you know? Kaylee got married recently. And she loves surfing. She stopped for a while because she was busy with work, but she just got back into it. She got back into surfing the same time you did. You should surf together sometime. I went out of my way to add in those details. Ugh. Ugh. Celso couldn't seem to form words. I let out a sigh. You're so bad at acting that I'll end this here. Celso, Kaylee, and I know everything. There's no point in hiding it anymore. I told him. Celso nodded in disappointment. It turns out that Celso has been dating both Kaylee and I since high school. Just like what he said to me. I don't want our friendship to turn out weird, so, so keep the fact we're dating a secret from Julia. He told Kaylee to keep their relationship a secret from me and their parents. Since all of our parents were also friends, he thought things would get messy if they found out. For better or for worse, Kaylee had a very naive and honest personality. She thought that if she hung out with me, she would definitely reveal her relationship with Celso on accident, so she distanced herself from me. After she distanced herself, I never asked her why because I was also worried she'd find out about my relationship with Celso. We had both thought the same thing. After I witnessed Kaylee and Celso's wedding, I got her phone number from a mutual friend and called her. She was surprised, but happy that I suddenly called her. Julia, it's been so long. How have you been? She said brightly. My heart hurt, but I explained the situation to Kaylee. Kaylee was stunned. I told Kaylee about my life with Celso and things started to all come together. So she agreed to meet. When we met, we exchanged stories and showed each other photos, so we understood what Celso had been doing. If we continued living in the same neighborhood, the truth was bound to come out eventually. But because Kaylee moved, the chances of people finding out fell sharply. Celso took advantage of that and continued to play around with the both of us. But getting married was a different story. At that point, you have to meet your partner's parents, right? That's why Celso came up with this plan. First, he went and met both my parents and Kaylee's. That wasn't a big problem. The problem would be us meeting his parents. He brought me to meet his parents first. But then after a few months, we discovered that our morals and ways of thinking were very different, so we decided to not get married, he told his parents. Then, a few months later, Kaylee met his parents. I'm sure his parents felt weird about Celso bringing home his two childhood friends one after the other like that. But Celso said, I don't want this to make things weird. So please keep the fact I was going to marry Julia a secret from Kaylee and her parents. He made his parents promise him that. Celso's parents were good people who didn't want to cause any drama, so they did as Celso told them. When I agreed with Celso that we would skip out on having a wedding ceremony, it was perfect for him. Since Kaylee wanted a ceremony, they had one, and he told all his friends that he married her. I did think it was weird that Celso didn't introduce me to his friends and colleagues, but this was why. All his friends and colleagues assumed that Kaylee was his wife, so he couldn't introduce them to me. Something else happened that was perfect for Celso. Personal space is really important for me. Can we live separately? Kaylee suggested. Celso worried about how he would carry on his double relationship after marrying Huss, but this solved his issues. When she spoke with me, Kaylee said, Many guys are against living separately after getting married, right? 
Salsa is the type who likes being with his girlfriend, and he's bad at housework. When he agreed so easily, I was grateful, but I did find it a bit weird. Overall, Celso lived with me and would spend the weekends with Kaylee. He also tried visiting her during the week when possible in order to not make her suspicious. It wasn't a complete lie that he was out surfing, but he would go together with Kaylee because she really loved surfing. He would purposely get tanned and bruised from his board, so I didn't doubt him. He was able to fool both of us by sprinkling some truth into his lies. I asked Celso something that had been bothering me. You went to register our marriage alone. Did you not actually register it? Celso got up from his seat and sunk to his hands and knees. I'm really sorry, Julia, Kaylee. I liked you both. Seeing him get on his hands and knees to cry just made my heart go cold. Answer my question. Who are you legally married to? I asked. I registered my marriage to Kaylee. He replied. The reason he gave disgusted me. The fact I want to be with both of you hasn't changed, but out of the two of you, Kaylee's family is richer. They've been wealthy for generations. Thinking about the future and inheritances and so on, I registered my marriage to her. I told you I would register ours, but I didn't. But I love you two the same. When he said that, a man sitting next to us stood up. How dare you! The man slammed the table in front of him. When Celso looked over at the man, his jaw dropped. Kaylee's father and mother, he muttered. And then another table spoke up. You! How could you? Fooling so many people. Turning around, Celso's parents were sitting near us. My parents also stood up and glared at Celso, infuriated. A commotion rose up in the cafe, but we didn't pay it any mind. Celso went pale. Dad, Mom, and even Kaylee's parents. He didn't seem to understand what was going on anymore. Kaylee and I had spoken to our parents about this as well as to Celso's. No one imagined that Celso could have done this. They were all skeptical, so we told them to come today in disguise. Celso got on his hands and knees again. I'm incredibly sorry. He apologized, but then he gave another horrible excuse. But come on, if there are two delicious pieces of cake in front of you, you want to eat both, right? This is the same. I liked two people. Kaylee stood in front of Celso. Shut up. Who do you think we are? Even if you think we're both nice, you had to make a decision at some point. I'm divorcing you. Bye. Kaylee turned around and left. Then Kaylee's father spoke. Forget what I said about you joining my company. Celso jumped up. No way. I already quit my job too. But Kaylee's father ignored him and left the cafe together with Kaylee's mother. Celso's parents said they were disowning him and also left. The only people left were Celso, my parents, and I. Hey, Julia, you'll understand, right? I was just confused. You're the one for me after all. Kaylee and I will divorce, so let's be together. I smiled at him. No way. And by the way, I'll be suing you for damages. Bye. My parents and I left the cafe, leaving Celso crying on his own. I later heard from Kaylee and her parents that Kaylee divorced Celso and claimed all the money her family has spent on the wedding from him. According to Kaylee's father, he planned on leaving the company he managed to Celso. But because of what happened, that was obviously off the table. Since Celso had already quit his job, he was unemployed. The Celso's parents disowned him, 
and rumors spread among all the friends and colleagues who had attended his wedding, so they began to distance themselves from him. He's now alone, working a low salary day job in order to pay back all the money he owes us. Kaylee and I became best friends again. We understood each other very well because of what happened, and we enjoyed catching up. We both joke that we really have bad taste in men. <laughs>